Clark is listening to his podcast on volume, like, 10x. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm just going to have a normal day. Today's Saturday, and we have zero plans. So it's going to be a fun one. She woke up at, like, 5.30 or something like that, and we were both like, that's going to be a no. She, no. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> And then she ended up putting herself back to sleep until like six and then woke up again and we were like just no she's got to sleep a little bit more like what is going on and then she woke up whatever time i showed i don't even know a little bit before seven i guess but she normally wakes up around seven that's kind of her oh okay bye that's kind of her norm is to wake up around seven she goes to bed around seven so normally she ranges around like 11 to 11 and a half hours straight um, last night was like, I don't know, a little bit over 10 hours straight because she had her little wake up at like 5.30, but whatever. She's sleeping so well and I don't know, I can't complain. Our sleep has been so much better lately, so much better now that we are completely out of the sleep regression. She's completely sleeping through the night and it's great. It's life changing. So a few moments before this moment I dropped my camera and broke my microphone so we're gonna do about half of the vlog with no audio so just bear with me so after we snuggled for a little bit we get up open up the blinds let the natural light in and then we go ahead and do some breakfast which basically means that I give her food first I try to have breakfast I'll start with a juice or I'll grab a banana or something like that because I run out of time and don't get to really eat anything until she goes down for her first nap and that's just kind of the way that it is. So this morning I started with some green juice and then I'm gonna give her some peas and then I'll end up giving her some banana too. We are still in the stage of exploring food. We're about three weeks in of starting solids and she likes to throw it off of the high chair literally every single time and she's not the age where she's doing it intentionally to be defiant yet <laughs> she really just is flailing her arms and gets excited and throws it off of the high chair so that's been fun unfortunately clark works on saturday so we kissed and waved goodbye <laughs> And if I have time, I like to make myself my decaf latte. Oh, I did have some banana bread that I made the day before and it's so good. I'll link the recipe below for you. And then usually I let her eat a little bit and then when she's kind of starting to get over it, we go ahead and FaceTime my mom. We talk for God only knows how long, but that's kind of our morning routine right now until I wipe her off, we play and put her back down for her first nap. And the little patch on her arm right there is some almond butter I put on her skin because I think that she's having some kind of reaction to it. Not an allergy because I would know right away, but it might be some kind of intolerance. So we're trying to figure that one out. Then we played for a little bit and once her wake window was over, which is around two hours at her age right now, we laid down for a nap. I was so extremely tired. I just did not sleep well at all. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take the first nap of the day with her. And we ended up sleeping an hour and 15 minutes together and it was so cozy and just the best time of the day, honestly. I also realized that my camera was not in focus, so there's a lot of great things going on here. Um, but anyway, so we do 
eat, play, sleep. That's kind of the cycle that we go on. So I fed her after her nap, but that's not always the case. Sometimes I'll feed her before she goes down. It really just depends. The thing about being a mom is you get to mom exactly how you want. During her wake windows, I don't like to do any kind of computer work and I really try to stay off of my phone as much as I possibly can. So lately we've been going outside and I've been getting a workout in. I've really been enjoying working out in the heat and in the sun. And I think it's just a good example for her to be able to see me move. It keeps her entertained. She watches the dog play, but then she only lasts about 15, 20 minutes and then she started getting really fussy and just over it. But I was grateful to get in what I got in I'll link the workout that I did below for you guys, but if you are looking for a comfortable but supportive sports bra, this Like a Cloud sports bra from Lululemon has officially changed my life and it's worth every single penny. I have been struggling to find something like this and I now need it in every single color. I'll link that below for you too, but yeah, it's very, very comfortable. She was starting to get really tired again at this point, but I wanted to try to give her a little bit more food. So give her some more peas and this just turned into me cleaning up peas from the counter, from the bar stools, from the floor and all of that. But I guess that's just the territory with this stuff. So. <laughs> is the worst cleaner upper ever she always leaves so much on the floor i'm like you're a dog anyway so a tip i have is after baby eats just go ahead and clean off everything right away or it's just going to get all gross and harder to clean later so just go ahead clean the bib clean the tray all that guys i filmed this entire vlog i'm just now realizing the audio is completely muted literally have been filming all day long i'm so annoyed I know at the end of the day, it's not a big deal, like who cares, but my camera fell earlier and the microphone got messed up, but I thought that I checked it and I could hear stuff. Apparently not. I literally don't know. So I need to go back through and see if every single clip is muted. I'm pretty sure that it is. This is a realistic day because this kind of freaking crap happened. So maybe I'll just pick it up from right here with my voice, but anyway, I just got done filming the audition that I was talking about. She's taking her second nap right now and she's been sleeping, yeah, about an hour and I was able to film the audition and I'm editing it right now and that's how I found out that the audio wasn't working. So we'll pick up the rest of the day with my voice. You slept so good. An hour and 15 minutes. We love it. We love it. Stretchies! Hey, baby girl, that was a long nap. I'm surprised. You've had two hour and 15 minute naps today. What the heck? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, so now we have audio. Now we have audio. We didn't before. We didn't know. We didn't know. You and I both didn't know. We're gonna, oh my, oh, camera's gonna die. Honey, things are going so good for us. All right, let me go charge the camera and let's go play or something, yeah. I was just on the phone with my mom for quite some time and um, I'm starving, so as I was talking to her, I just started to eat some of this cereal. This company sent me this, which I did not buy it because I did see it at Whole Foods and it's like $9 for a box of cereal. I'm sorry, what? It's good, but like, I'm not spending $9 on a box of cereal. 
Anyway, I poured it into a bowl and then I was talking to my mom, so I started eating it just dry without putting milk in it, which I never do. Like I always put, I always put milk in my cereal and walked away and came back like an hour later and realized, oh, I ate the dry cereal. It's still sitting out here. I never like really ate a bowl of cereal. All right, let's do our updates. Let's do our six month update of baby and six month update of me being, bless you, six months postpartum. Okay, let's talk about, oh my gosh, the guy just started doing his yard. Today has been a day, guys. I don't mean to bring any like negative energy. So I'm gonna let it go. Oh, there's a plane now. <laughs> I know all these problems are not like problems, so it's fine. So six months with Sagey girl, my chunky monkey. Six months with my girl. She's in the 90th percentile for her height. So she is gonna be a tall queen. I'm 5'8", so she'll be tall or not. I don't know if any of that really matters when they're babies and if it actually like ends up happening. I think when I was little, they told me I was gonna be like 5'3 or 5'4 and I'm much taller than that. She yeah, is definitely gaining a ton of weight. She's 18 pounds. Obviously we started solids. I did videos about that if you haven't seen those, um, which has been really fun because she's so freaking funny. This girl is really funny. She's always very like attached to me and very connected to me and snuggly with me. She's always, oh, sorry baby, just poked her. She's always been that way, but now she's intentionally like laying her head on my chest or on my shoulder when I'm holding her and she's not like, sleeping or something. But put her head on my chest and just like <clears throat> snuggle. I don't know, it's it's really freaking sweet. It's definitely a newer thing she's been doing. She has been sleeping through the night for, I don't even know how long. I should have kept track this whole time. I have kept track a little bit, but nothing like too specific, which I now regret. She's in her own room, in her big girl crib. She usually sleeps about 11 hours straight. She goes to bed anywhere between seven and eight and then wakes up normally around, she was waking up between like seven and 7.30. That was kind of the norm. And now the last few days, she's been getting up at like six and then she'll put herself back to sleep until like 6.30, 6.45 and then we get her up. Um, but then this morning she woke up at 5.30, but we don't go in there. We watch her on the monitor, but we let her put herself back to sleep. And then we're like, when it is time to wake up, we'll come get you. And she's kind of just like making sound and moving around. If she's like crying really, really hard, we'll go get her. And that's usually around the time where she's supposed to get up and she's like ready to eat and she's like a little shark when she comes to eat. Like Clark always goes and gets her and brings her into the room and I feed her in bed. And uh, she's like, oh, like can't get to, can't get to the boob quick enough. Huh. She's now started a thing where she can reach her foot and bring her toes in her mouth. So that's been funny. She has been really constipated lately. I know that's a common thing with starting solids, which she, she was getting constipated before we started solids so I don't know what's going on but they said five days is like the longest a baby should go without pooping and she's she's done that the last like few weeks where it's taken five days for her to go to the bathroom not good stresses me out you have peas on your face so yeah that is not ideal but we're doing all the things like the bicycles we're doing the tummy massages the warm baths I've been giving her some apple and pear I think that might have helped her poop last time and then last night I did the thing where I put the thermometer in her butt. The doctor said, if nothing else works, like do that and it usually, it's okay, it's right here. It'll work and she didn't even budge. She didn't even act like anything happened. I just put it in, took it right back out. And I was like, maybe I'll do one more. And then I put it in, waited like a second and then took it out and she woke up this morning and she pooped. She is going through leap five. If you do not have the Wonder Weeks app, I suggest it because you can kind of see the timeline of the leaps that they go through and what each of those mean. And she's definitely in leap five right now, which is like um, more clingy, more fussy. There's a bunch of different things that your baby might not be all of them, but she's definitely clingy. She's fussy when I walk out of the room, like the world's ending if I walk away from her. Uh, so yeah, that's been fun, trying to be patient. I secretly love it though, but then it's also kind of like annoying and frustrating when she's just like fussing if I have her down, like playing. I'm like, I have to get something done. Like I'm right here, honey, like it's okay. And she's just fussing and fussing and not crying. It's just like that, that fussing. And it just sometimes I just, my patience is like wearing thin. Okay, I think that's all baby things. So as far as postpartum, 
I feel like I say this every month of like, I'm starting to like get back into my movement, my fitness. I've wanted to and I've done like a little bit, but then realistically it's like not been happening. But I feel like this month I definitely have been more consistent. The most consistent I've been since having her and I've been doing workouts outside like you saw today. Put her out there, the dog, a little YouTube video and I just get my workout in while I'm in the sun, which I've really been liking, which I'm getting vitamin D and getting vitamin D, getting some sun while I'm out there, which is nice. And the heat, I love to work out in the heat because you sweat more and I just, I don't know, I really like that. Uh, going back to talking about patience, I, I definitely am someone who's not, I'm not a patient person. Some people say that surprises them about me because I seem like I'm patient, but I'm really not. I have to really work on it to be patient. Um, with her, it's, it's weird because I want to be patient for her and I want, I want to be that for her, you know what I mean? I don't want to live a life where I'm the impatient, frustrated mom all the time. Like, I don't want that to be the air of who I am, so I have to work on that. But, I mean, I feel like I do really well with her, but when she is, like, super fussy, I've had those moments of, like, hormone, like, they say, like, the postpartum rage. I've, like, I don't, I'm not in a rage, but, like, there's moments where I, like, I feel that and I have to, like, stop and, like, take a breath and realize like it's not a big deal, like it's not anything anyone else is doing, it's totally me and like what's happening on the inside of me. So I've had to like breathe through those moments. I've definitely had a few pop up in the last month probably and it's like that like, oh my God. And then it passes immediately and then I'm fine, but it's not cute. Oh, I forgot, she is not setting up on her own yet. I think that usually comes in month six. She's also still not taking a bottle and it's not like I'm working on it every single day. Because before when I was trying it, I was getting milk out of the freezer and I would take it out. But then as soon as she would like put her mouth on it, you can't reuse that milk. It's only good, especially after you have thawed it out. I can only use it for the next 24 hours. And if she's put it in her mouth, you can't re-put it in the fridge. It's a whole thing. So I felt like I was just wasting milk and she was not learning and taking the bottle. She rejected it every single time. But now that she's able to have about an ounce of water a day, I'm gonna start putting it in, putting water in a bottle and work on that because I'm getting auditions again and everything and I wanna like get back in the swing of things, but I've had to decline several because if I get this job, I can't leave her still. Like she doesn't take a bottle. I have to be with her to feed her and that's just been kind of weighing on my shoulders. So I need to figure that out. I don't know if it's gonna take me actually booking something and then we start working on it, you know, for the next several days until I work or something, I don't know. Um, but I had one last week that the audition was due on like a Wednesday and I would have worked that Friday and who knows if I would have got it most of the time you don't but I'm like that's too soon to try to introduce a bottle and for me to feel comfortable leaving her so yeah it's it's a whole thing around month I think four or five I think it was month five is when I really had the postpartum hair loss like crazy when I tell you my hair was coming out in clumps, if you've been through it, you know. And I'm like, how do I have hair left on my head? It's so, so bad. But now, it seems like it's not falling out like that anymore. It's definitely subsided and I'm getting the regrowth. It's happening, if you can see. Um, it's just like all these little baby hairs. They say that even like up here at your part, you'll start to get little hairs that, that or like stick up and stuff, so I haven't had those yet, but I'm taking my vitamins still. Supplements and vitamins definitely can help aid in hair loss, but this is kind of the reaction to the cause and effect of having a baby, like the actual adrenaline of giving birth, and that's, that's what it's from. When you go through like a traumatic, <laughs> it doesn't have to be traumatic, <laughs> if you go through a very stressful, adrenaline-inducing event in your life, that's about four to six, Four to six months later, that's around the time where you lose hair from that adrenaline and your adrenal glands are just shot at that point. Um, and that definitely was, was me because we had 40 hours of labor. Mommy went through it. If you've not watched that vlog, I'll go ahead and put it up here. It's worth a watch. Um, it ended up being positive, so it's okay. Oh yeah, and get this. I got my freaking period back. What? I was not expecting it at six months was not. Like I said, I'm exclusively breastfeeding her and even her starting solids, which she's not really consuming a lot anyway, but I'm still feeding her completely like normal, the same amount per day. Um, she's not taking in, it's okay baby, here. She's not taking in any less, which, you know, when that happens, that can trigger your period coming back and stuff. 
We haven't dropped a feed, nothing. So I was expecting from nine months to a year or when I stopped breastfeeding in general for me to get it back. No, she came early. So now I'm like, okay, now I can ovulate and get pregnant again. <laughs> I think ideally we'd like to wait until she's around two years old. I don't really know. I wanna enjoy her by herself enough before we bring another baby into the picture. But you know, I'm not a spring chicken, girls. I'm not a spring chicken. So I have, I have a timeline that I have to consider. You know what I'm saying? That's the update. Let's go ahead and get back into our day. All right, come on, Noah. let's go. Okay, I just put the baby down for her third nap. She was awake about two and a half hours because I got on the phone and time slipped by. She went right down. Um, kind of a routine with that because I haven't showed you since I just didn't want the camera to distract her before she goes down. But typically take her in there, change her diaper, put her sleep sack on, sit in the rocking chair and then I'll just kind of rock her back and forth for like 20 seconds maybe and then put her down because she's ready to go down. Sometimes I'll read her a book but lately she's just just so over it and just looks up at me and is just like ready to go lay down. So we kind of, we've been skipping that part lately. At nighttime, I always read her a book. She's always gone down really, really well um, with the exception of her losing her binky and you know, needing it and I put it back in and she falls asleep. I'm outside with Nala right now. I'm gonna play ball with her and drink some water because I've not had enough water today, which I'm basic. I'm basic and I got a Stanley quencher. I'm so annoying. I have the sand color. Hey, baby. Hello. Oh, you said, Mom, no, give me that. I said, Mommy, no, give me that. Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry, I took it. Jeez. Okay. Okay. All right, she slept for 32 minutes. Kind of expected that one. Look at the hair, sissy girl. Look at that hair blowing in the wind. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna feed her for the whatever time it is. I don't know. I'll just feed her after she wakes up. So she's gonna eat and then we might go to dinner tonight. If daddy can get off in time, he wants to, <laughs> if he can get off in time, he wants to go to um, a restaurant and eat. I know, but it, I don't know if it's going to work out because he has to get off in time and you have a bedtime, but we're trying to live our lives. I guess we'll see. You want num nums? Okay, I'll feed you. Now we're just hanging out waiting for daddy to get off work. I probably should be getting us together, but we're going to play in your little play area. I don't think that I showed this. I think I filmed clips for the, a vlog, but then ended up never doing one. I don't know. I'll put that here. keep her confined, I guess. And I felt like this was aesthetic enough for me. I was that person when I was pregnant. I'm like, I don't wanna like change up my house and like, cause I love my house. I love the way I've decorated it. And I don't know, I'm like, I don't wanna change like, like the little space that we have into just like, you know, chaos and toys everywhere. <laughs> but now I'm the mom that has made her sitting area a, a playroom basically, but I'm happy. It's cute and I love that she has designated place to play because her room is so small and yeah so when we have some bigger items like when I get her like a play kitchen and things like that like we'll put it inside of this and it has a little gate right here now I can go in and out because I don't care if she like really comes in here and plays with her or not we are still obsessed with love every we get the subscription that grows with her and I'll show you a couple of the new things that we got this last time all right, she's obsessed with ripping this off and chewing on it, and it makes me so nervous because I don't want her to rip a piece off and then choke on it, so. No, 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 baby. Redirect, redirect. Let's go this way, wee! She has been obsessed with these little stacking cups. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, she is obsessed with these stacking cups. There's a bunch of them. 
And these would be good for the bath as well. She loves this. There's a little puzzle thing. The piece is over on the couch, so there's that. This, oh, this is funny. Just found some peas splattered from when she threw her spoon earlier. That's awesome. Uh, she loves this. I love how their stuff is just like really good quality and wooden, and it's just, it's, I don't know, it's cute to look at. Um, that, and then this thing she's obsessed with. She loves that. Yeah, you do so good, huh, honey? This is new, which has a bunch of cards that are sensory because they have like little textures on them. And there's front and back. So there's a whole stack of these. We love that. This is really cool. It has sign language, which I've been trying to start with her when she's eating and stuff like that. So that this little book is cute. And then we got this little add-on to the little play set here. Um, she loves that. Yeah, good job, baby. It's most of the new stuff that we got. I'll link Love Every below. <coughs> Honey, I'm right here, baby. I walk away and she like cannot handle it. It's okay. I'm right here, honey. I'm right here. It's okay. I'm getting kind of nervous because we have like two diapers left and our diaper delivery subscription thing that we get every month was supposed to be here today. And I was like, okay, we can, you know, I have enough for the day, but it's not here yet. And it's, I mean, it is a Saturday and it's like six o'clock. And yeah, that's not good. I do have some backups that are size two and she's in a size four, so like, they would definitely not fit well at all. And I don't want her in a small diaper over, like, overnight. So, hey, honey, I'm right here, it's okay. And mommy doesn't want you chewing on that angel. It is non-toxic, but I don't want you biting a piece off, honey. I know it's interesting, I need to get you like a little puzzle or something. Cause you just don't have enough, huh? I'm right here, babe, it's okay. It's okay, Angel. All right, let's get you ready for dinner. We'll see how this goes. Because we're going to dinner during your bedtime. And that stresses me out. Because I don't want to do that to you. I don't want you to be overtired. It makes mom sad. But we're going to try to live our life, okay? I'm going to get you nice and comfortable in case you fall asleep. And mommy bring you a blanket. And we'll bring your lovey. And that's it. Huh. Is daddy home now? Yay, daddy's home. This, we need this. Daddy's home. Oh God, oh, I thought you tripped over her. <gasps> and we got that. What else do we need? Be happy. You're my happy girl. <laughs> You are big. Chewing and swallowing, so it's like tough. Yeah. Yummy! Yummy! The wheels on the bus go round and round. We're going home and we're doing the sad thing. It's so okay. Good morning. Good morning.